Hey everybody! Okay. <laughs> Sorry, it took me a second to realize I was recording. So, we are back from Disneyland. We were back last week and I meant to get right into vlogging again and it didn't happen just because there's a lot of stuff going on. We had, I had IEP meetings for the girls yesterday, which is, if you don't know, it's Individualized Education Plan. It's for kids who need services of any kind. For them, particularly, it's speech. They need help with their speech. But that's beside the point. I just had a bunch of stuff going on and couldn't really get to it. So hopefully this is starting back up. I'm really here for a Wellness Wednesday. I did want to let you know I've had a lot of people ask whether I was going to post a video about Disneyland and it, whether I was going to post Disneyland footage. And I am, but not on YouTube. The girls will never be on YouTube um, face-wise. You'll be able to hear their voices. Sometimes I might upload videos without their heads, but I'm not going to put their post their faces and their voices together on YouTube. I don't know if that makes any sense. Anyway, so to answer that question, their face will not be on YouTube until such a time where I feel safe about it, but at this point I don't feel safe about it. We had a fantastic time. Unfortunately, this anniversary is such a good one for our family, but it is also a bad one for them. Um, so it's kind of a double-edged sword. Well, not a double-edged sword. It's just kind of a good and bad, depending on which way you look at it. So I knew there was going to be some lash out, just like all the other bad anniversaries. Uh, luckily, it didn't really happen until we came back home from Disneyland, but now it's coming out. So we're having some temper tantrum issues, and hopefully we'll get over those soon. Um, I'm super excited because I'm about to take them to swim lessons. I was a swim teacher for five years, but right now there's a new swim school that's about to open up, and um, because of that, they have no facility, but they're trying to get customers in and they're giving free swim lessons until their facility opens at a different facility. So I figured, hey, free swim lessons, why not? <laughs> um, wellness wise, I gained a bit of water weight, which is pretty normal for me, especially when I drive a lot. I just, my body just retains water like crazy. And I thought AF was coming, but she hasn't shown yet, so I'm not sure where she is. But weight-wise, I had gone from 187 up to 190. And I suspected that was mostly water weight, and it was, thank goodness, because I dang near cried when I stepped on the scale. I left it for a few days after we got back and then I figured, okay, I've got to bite the bullet. I might as well just take a look, see where we're at. And it was at 190.1 or something and I was just like, okay, don't cry, don't cry. It'll be fine. It's not a big deal. And luckily this morning I'm at 186.5 so I've lost uh, 3.6 pounds-ish since coming back from Disneyland, having our own food, and we ate mostly in the house that we were at, but we did eat out a few times. Um, luckily, Disneyland actually does a pretty good job of having healthier options available. Uh, they do have some fruit stands. I'm going to make a video about Disneyland and things that I know about Disneyland um, that might help people who haven't been there. Anyway, I know this is totally all over the place. I am getting back to the gym. I was actually going to go this morning, and then I looked at my phone, and it's a good thing I did, because I realized the girls had some lessons today, and I went, oh, we can't do that. <laughs> so, anyway, that's kind of it. I'm at 186.5, and I'm, I'm really just trying to focus on one pound at a time right now. AF hasn't shown. I did test because it was like CD30 something and my doctor, my IVF doctor, you know, emailed and said, hey, have you started cycle yet? So I tested just in case it was negative. If it doesn't show by probably next Sunday, I will test again and then email my doctor and say, you know, what do we want to do? Do we want to wait for it naturally to start or do we want to start pro um, progesterone to kickstart it or what? 
Um, I think that's it. So that's where I'm at. I have been starting my hypnosis again. I had kind of taken a break. <laughs> I was frustrated after the loss. But I started my IVF hypnosis again, and I started a weight loss hypnosis, and I figure I'll just stop the weight loss hypnosis um, midway through an IVF cycle. Um, and then I've been doing a lot of trying to get organized, other aspect of wellness side. I've just been trying to get more organized, more ready to do some homeschooling stuff with the girls. Um, We've been talking about homeschool versus school school, um, so we'll see. I'm not totally sure how we're going to work it all out, and right now that's it. But I will come back at you guys with the Foster Friday, and then I will see you guys next week for Mo Mommy Monday. I'll talk to you later. Bye.